guys, it's Jamie here. And the other day I was asked about my papers and how I coffee stained them or dyed them. I don't want any more coffee stained papers, but I did want some colored ones. So I've ordered from Amazon some very, very cheap selection of food dyes. I have zero idea whether this will work or not. But for the Cinderella journal, for club i want some purples and some pink papers i want to go girly which is unusual for me no idea what ratio to work with so i've got some, a little bit of water here this is the grape apparently and i just want to see what color water i get what i would normally do is i would take one paper this is 120 gsm so slightly above printer level paper and run well that's very pale i probably want something a bit darker than that so i'll throw a few more dots in there see what we've got that's a bit more like it and with a brush this is a slow way to do it if you don't want patterns then you could just soak loads and loads of papers in a big bath of papers and then i would take a big stencil put a stencil down and then put a piece of paper on top. I tend to press it a little bit first and then get some more of the stain and run it over. Because I'm gonna stick with one color, you could put another stencil, get another piece of paper and do it again. You can also do this with lace if you don't mind your lace being dyed or a plastic ta lacy tablecloth. That's quite good because you can do a lot of papers then at once. Right, I have a heat gun with me, which I don't normally use when dyeing papers, but it helps to speed up the process. So what I'm doing is layering. I'm putting on layers and layers of this food coloring because that's a plastic stencil very carefully just drying it this isn't fully dry yet it's still a little damp so i'm expecting a bit more of a change of color at some point but let's pull this up and i don't know if you can see there's a very faint pattern on there on that side i don't know if you can see that pattern and then on this side again, there's quite a faint pinky pattern. I think that might be a little more obvious when it dries. I don't know. Okay, that one has quite a strong pattern on that side. And it has like a reverse image pattern on this side. I think it would work as a page in a journal. Lift the next one. I'm not seeing much change on this one. A little bit, definitely not a lot, and it's quite streaky, and nothing on this side. So I think we will try again with this one. I will get another piece of paper, put that down. take off the excess but this time I'm going to turn it over and repaint it and again I'm going to turn it again so back to the original and soak it through again you can see that patterning's coming through I'm not sure if I'm putting it down in exactly the right position each time I've dried that off a little bit. It's still damp, but we're going to put another layer over. Okay, let's take a look at this one. It does have some subtle patterning on that side. And then this side, similar. Reverse image, subtle patterning. Let's see what's happened underneath, which hadn't really got anything before. Yeah, that's got something going on down there and nothing on this side. So I think what we will do then, because I'm not overly keen on the streaky, I don't think that's going to go particularly well with 
the theme of the June Creator Club journal. Now we'll put another one on top of here, but with the idea that it's going to be grape and something. So that's just lightly stained it on one side and not much on the other, but I want to do a mix of colours, so that'll be what I'm using that one for. Let's have a look at what's happening with the streaky one. A little streaky, but it has got a bit of something going on. Into that grape mix, I'm going to add some navy. There's not much water in there. Oh, that's going to be much stronger, I think. This was the plainish side of the one that I said I wanted to use again. I shall very carefully, because it's very damp, so it's easy to tear it at this point, lift that one up and turn it over. Another coat over this side. Let's have a look at the results. I've um, not 100% dry, but virtually dry, and I have ironed them a little bit. Now, there is some pulling. I don't think that matters too much. It's okay. It's not exactly what I was looking for, that one. Again, that I don't particularly like for this journal. This is quite a strong colour. I probably used too much food dye in it and you can just about see the print through that. That's a slightly better colour, but again, still quite strong. This was some of the blues. Very strong blue. Now, for some reason, I don't mind the patterning on the blue, whereas I don't like it on the pink and the mauve on the blue I think because it reminds me of denim it seems better this one I love I don't quite know what happened but I love this the fact you've got some pink here and then you go up and you've got like a bit of pink edging and some blue I love that look take the stencil again but this time to use some actual ink on it I have a white ink see how we're doing Oh, now that shows through a little bit more on that very dark bit. So the white's good on the very dark. So let's have a go with a different colour on the lighter bits of this salvaged patina. Oh yeah, looking to get an effect. I think it's better if we can get something. I know I'm going in a slightly different direction now. I think that will be okay because of how it is. That fading is very faint. I'm not sure how much you can see it. I can see it. And I quite like that faintness in a way because it reminds me of Damask. I'm gonna leave that one at that, I think. This side is quite, it's, it's not quite what I was looking for. I'm wondering if we should do more white. I know the white's not going to show up much, but I have no patience. I shouldn't really junk journal because my patience is so limited. Oh, well, that was interesting. This is where I used it really heavily. It's come through quite heavy. But I'm not sure that that's really the effect I wanted, so I might smudge that out. You can write on it, it has an effect. Yeah, it's gonna look all right. How are we doing with this one? This side, I want to get some more white on here. When that catches the light, it is so pretty, but it's very hard to see. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a beautiful shimmer across that paper. Let's try a bit of the blue. Either gonna love it or hate it. Mm, it's okay. Victorian velvet. Okay. You can sort of see it. I'm not a massive fan. I'm loving that magenta pink over it. So maybe it's this side that I want to do something. Let's spray the whole paper with amp it anyway. Then put that on try the oxide and see if it makes a difference going on damp. Uh, actually, I prefer that more. I'd like to have done this with a white. 
it's not an oxide, but it's a permanent ink. But let's just see. You never know. Okay, that worked. Now, isn't that interesting? Next thing I'm going to try is some white gesso. Don't know that on that it's showing much of a result, and that might be to do with the fact, let's just brush that out, it's quite spotty in the first place. Let's try the concept, but on a more a slightly more even background. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. Thought I'd quickly run through the results. I've ironed over these to make them a lot flatter. I'm beginning to like the results more. The stripy ones, as you know, I'm not so keen on. But they're still interesting papers. This yeah i'm gonna have to do something with that one definitely this gives a great effect but the paint is raised and i don't know what that's like to write on this i think was a stamped one yeah that was a wet stamping one that has worked the best as far as i can tell and definitely the white is the better result here we've got one where i didn't add anything to the final result on this side and this side looks like I stamped over with some white and that's a much more subtle result. This feels like the paint effect again. Here we go. Another one that's got a big crease in it. Inside been done with an ink stamp by the look of that. I think we've got a white ink stamp on the outside. And then nothing on the inside because I just love that two-tone. All of those papers will go into the June journal that I'm making with Creators Club. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and do all the other YouTube-y things and I will see you next time.